All right. Okay. Hey, the twenty eighth. Yep. Coming to the end of the month, almost there. Yep. Yep. And uh, it's very important day for me as well, because I've been preparing for the annual social enterprise summit. Ah, yes, of course, big and event. It's going to uh, open. Fantastic. This evening with the cocktail. Yeah. Excellent. And the official summit will commence. Okay. Tomorrow morning at eleven. So tell me what's going to happen there. Uh, we will invite. Yeah. Uh, you, of course. All right. Thank but you. But the opening panel. Yeah. Will have. Our Chief Secretary Carrie Lam saw that. Fantastic! Congratulations! Uh, it's a big win. Woof. Yeah. A discussion from uh, of officials from four different countries. Okay. So we'll have um, Boston Mayor's office. Yeah. Joe Jacobs. Yeah. And Boston yeah. has been a very interesting case to to follow because yeah. of the terrorist attack in uh, the, in the Boston Marathon. Yeah, and how they and, reacted uh, to that. After yeah. that, they they put a lot of effort and resources in social innovation. Okay. And then we'll have uh, Charles Leepeter right. from Nestor of the UK. Okay. He's basically the advisor right. uh, to Tony Blair yeah. in formulating UK's social innovation policy. Interesting. We have Interesting. Penny Lowe, okay. a congresswoman woman yeah. from Singapore. Huh? Yes. Okay. And, uh, but she is also the founder of the Social Innovation Park in Singapore. Right. So we'll have the clustering model. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Interesting. Okay, yeah, if you yeah. want social innovation, you put in a social innovation park. Okay. If you want okay. technology innovation, you put in a technology park. The Singaporeans like their parks, don't yeah, they? Yeah. So Sing- Singapore, you want tourism, you build yep. a big park with yep. casinos. Yep. I mean, that's the Singaporean model. So yeah, yeah. we learn from Singapore. And finally, we have Rose Mariadis. Okay. She just stepped down from the previous uh, administration from right. Australia. There's a change of administration. Yes. And the previous administration is a strong supporter of... Uh, uh, social innovation and okay. social enterprises, and we'll see how Australia is going to carry the baton with the new administration. So we have very different cases. You got gotcha. interacting with the chief secretary. This is, this is a big event, isn't it? Like yeah, you got days. like four hundred yeah. people coming. Uh, no, 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 no. Fourteen hundred people. Fourteen hundred. Wow, yeah. Vincent, that's fantastic. Okay, so it should be quite interesting. Yeah. All right. Okay. So, Sounds good. so you're going to be kicking that off tonight. Yes. Very good. Uh, we'll, keep, we'll definitely be keeping an eye on that. I'll be looking forward to it. Don't have don't don't have too much fun at the cocktail because you got a big event to run. The we next are day. not serving wine, ah, because okay. we are doing that in the uh, central government office, and wine, okay, has been a taboo word ever since the ex ICAC commissioner investigation. Oh yeah, I suppose. <laughs> I was gonna say, you know, we wish for the days when Henry Tang was there. So there know, will be can, water yeah, and yeah, juice. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. all right, all right, and soup. Well, at least you'll be at least you'll be all ready for the next morning. All right, you know, okay. Things won't get too out of control. Well, good luck with that. And congratulations. That's okay, keyword for today from yep. you: social enterprise. All right, it's no. got to be right. Oh, uh, from my no, stuff. no, no, from your, from your. Account. Oh, okay, yeah. So, uh, well, you know, I want to talk about you know something we're going to profile tomorrow. Uh, Harvard Times comes out tomorrow. Yep, we're going to talk about the end of retirement. Huh? the end of retirement. No retirement. Well, yeah, you know, we're talking about the population crunch, and I, you know, I'm going to be making the argument that, uh, you know, I'm still writing it, frankly, but uh, the idea that we need to give up the idea of retirement as being at a certain age, because really there is no mandatory retirement age. There's a whole bunch of them, depending on who you work for and what your job is and when your pension gets delivered or when you can get your NPF. There is no one retirement age, but I think the concept of stopping, drawing a line and saying you're done, and then you transition to a completely different part of your life, I think that that concept needs to end. And I think politically, Hong Kong's going to have to figure out how to handle it uh, if we're going to adapt to an aging workforce. So ma- making the most of our workforce, uh, you know, whether it's a run-run Shaw who was five days a week in the office until he was 104. A friend of mine was talking about his, uh, he's got, he's got his uh, grandfather still working with heavy machinery at 97 years old. Back in Canada, wow! Yeah, you know these guys are not for you know these guys didn't just hit sixty five and say time to put my tools down, mm. right? So I think that we need to have a big political discussion about the end of retirement, mm-hmm. right? Not forcing people into collecting their pensions at a certain age. You know, if they want to work longer and extend those benefits, all right? You know, because uh, you know what, this is a major workforce for social enterprises as well. Yeah, a lot of the retirees mm. are actually social entrepreneurs. Yes, I've, I've met a few of them actually. Yeah, yeah no, because I hear, I hear, of the resources you. they have, the network they have, yeah, experience. The experience they have. Yeah, it's easy for them to set up social enterprises. Yeah. And some of yeah. them just told me that they have spent too much time earning money. Yeah. they would like to plow back to the society. Well, that's good. That's good. That's a good impulse for people to have. I think. Yeah. So yeah, I think retirement will be the keyword for today. Yep. Yeah. It's a keyword to be scrapped. All right. Sounds good. 
Is that the, the, the end of retirement? Sounds good. Thank you. Thanks, Vincent. All right. Cheers.